Hello, I'm Professor Mohamed Kadra, and I'm pleased to present you this video on vasectomy. The aim of this video is to help you understand the operation, its main side effects, and to prepare you better for your upcoming operation. This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the information leaflet you've been provided. Vasectomy is a surgical procedure to cut or block the tubes, the vas deferens, that carry sperm from the testicles. The aim of vasectomy is to prevent sperm from being mixed with semen, the fluid ejaculated during sex. A man may be a candidate for a vasectomy if he wants to have sex with minimal chance of causing pregnancy and he's certain he has fathered all the children he wants to have. Vasectomy should be regarded as an irreversible procedure. If you have any doubt about whether it is the right option for you, you should not go ahead. Under normal circumstances, vasectomy is not appropriate during your partner's pregnancy or within the first six months after the birth of a child. Make sure you inform us of any blood thinning medications or conditions that may affect how we perform the procedure and how you heal after the procedure. A full general anaesthetic is normally used and you'll be asleep throughout the procedure. If you have any allergies, be sure to let the anaesthetist know. If you wish to consider sperm storage before your vasectomy, this can be arranged. This needs to be arranged separately and there may be an additional cost for storage. The procedure involves making two small incisions on either side of the scrotum, finding the vas deferens and removing a small section of that tube. We then tie off both ends to prevent them from healing together or rejoining. Most procedures have side effects and these range from very common ones to more rare occurrences. But in most cases, patients go through the procedure without any serious side effects. The side effects that are related to vasectomy are a small amount of bruising and scrotal swelling for several days. Sometimes you can have seepage of a small amount of clear yellow fluid several days later. Blood in the semen is not uncommon. Early failure of the procedure to produce sterility occurs in about one in 500 cases. Although vasectomy may be reversed, this is not always effective in restoring fertility, especially if more than seven years have lapsed after the vasectomy. Contraception must be continued until no motile sperms are present on two consecutive semen samples. Chronic testicular pain or sperm granuloma can occur in about 30% of patients. Occasionally, significant bleeding or bruising which needs further surgery may occur. This is quite uncommon, as is inflammation of the epididymis or testis. And despite published information in the press, there's no evidence that vasectomy causes any long-term health risks or testicular or prostate cancer. Generic side effects which relate to having any operations are anaesthetic and cardiovascular problems which might require intensive care admission, chest infection, pulmonary embolus, deep venous thrombosis, heart attack or even death. These are very rare. Hospital acquired infections occur in roughly 1% of cases. If you develop a temperature, increased redness, throbbing, drainage at the site of the operation or any above side effects, please don't hesitate to contact me or your general practitioner. It is essential that you understand you're not sterile immediately after the procedure. This is because some sperm have already passed beyond the site where the tubes are tied off. These sperm need to be cleared by normal ejaculation. On average, you'll need 20 to 30 ejaculations to clear them. At 10 to 12 weeks after the procedure, you'll be asked to produce specimens of semen for examination. Following semen examination, you'll be asked to make an appointment with me to check the sperm count in the samples. If no sperm are present, you are sterile, and I'll inform you of that. If specimens show non-motile or dead sperms, you may also be regarded as sterile. However, if there are large numbers of motile sperm, you'll need to provide further specimens until you are clear. Hopefully, 
This video has presented you with an overview of the procedure. You will have already received the patient information booklet and we've had discussions during our consultations. If you have any questions about any of the contents of this video or the information sheets you've received, then please don't hesitate to contact the practice or to make another appointment before your operation.